Good morning. Good morning. Um, welcome everyone to the swearing in ceremony for our new chief of police, Carl Oakman. Um, I want to thank you for everyone for turning out. Appreciate Mayor Alvey being here and many of our local commissioners, uh, our DA, thank you for being here. It's a pleasure to have everyone with us. You know, today really marks the, the end of a process of going through a lot of community meetings, events, interactions, and a transition time for preparation to come over. And now the beginning of our new chief to come in and start his process and run his procedures and, and new leadership in our community. So with that, I'm going to recognize Brett Deichler, our county clerk, to come in and do the swearing-in ceremony. Brett? Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you, Doug. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I. I. Carl A. Oakman. Carl A. Oakman. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution. Of the United States. Of the United States. The Constitution and Statutes. The Constitution and Statutes. Of the State of Kansas. Of the State of Kansas. And the Ordinances and Resolutions. And the Ordinances and Resolutions. Of the Unified Government of Wyandotte County, Kansas City, Kansas. Of the Unified Government of Wyandotte County, Kansas City, Kansas. And will to the best of my ability. And will to the best of my ability. Perform the duties of Chief of Police. Perform the duties of Chief of Police. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, sir. Chief Carl Oakman. Well, once again, I, I just want to thank everyone for their uh, support. Um, and I look forward to working with each of you and the community as well as the members of the department. Um, I think it's about a little after nine and uh, I know after this I'll be ready to work and rolling up my sleeves and put in a full days of work today. Uh, but like I said, just want to thank everyone. Uh, it's, it's, this is a very important uh, honor for me, uh, not just as chief of police, but to return home to a city that raised me and uh, kept me safe uh, in this community. So uh, I look forward to it and just once again, thank you to everyone. There's so many people I couldn't name you. So I just want to say thank you for everyone who's here and felt the time to come. Thank you. I think the number one thing is listen. Uh, and then the, the second thing I'm going to do today is meet with the senior command staff and then start uh, scheduling uh, meetings to meet with all the members of the Kansas City, Kansas Police Department. And, and listening, why is that such a key component of what we need to do? Because one, you, you, you have to listen to understand what, uh, what the agency is doing well and then what challenges that the agency is facing and then to work with all members of the agency to work on those solutions to uh, improve those challenges. What would you say is the biggest challenge that the police department is facing right now and how do you plan to address that? Well, I, I, I think the biggest challenge that, uh, and it's not unique to Kansas City, Kansas, I think is the perception of uh, the community perception I think that we could always, even when we do the best job, uh, we can always do better to work on that perception. Uh, because someone's 
perception is their reality. So we have to do, and one thing I know that uh, from a police department standpoint, we need to spend a lot more time uh, explaining to the community the things that we do well, uh, and then get community input and feedback to help us address the challenges. Yeah, yes, uh, my, my 29 years in law enforcement, I've always been hands-on in the community as well as working with uh, my staff to do what I can to improve not only the community, but also uh, career development um, for uh, the members of law enforcement that I work with or, or uh, who work for me. Well, I, I, I think I've, I've, I've went through my whole career, and I think if you, if you focus on things that uh, make you different from others, you'll never get anything accomplished. So what I always do is focus on what I can do, what experience, um, what information I can bring to improve the quality of life of the community as a whole, regardless of your social economic status, your race, your gender. Uh, as a police chief, I'm the police chief for all members of, Kansas, of the Kansas City, Kansas community. Well, I, I, I knew I was going to get asked a question that was going to, that would put tears in my eyes. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's so important uh, growing up uh, in Kansas City, Kansas. And there's a couple people here that actually helped me through uh, that transition, losing my family early, uh, my mother and father. You know, I have my, my cousin here. Uh, my, my sister-in-law, who's like my sister, uh, that really helped raise and shape me. And uh, that, that was really important. And I think the most important thing about it is, is that I understand um, Kansas City, Kansas. I understand what some people may be going through. So uh, when you have personal experience, you're able to um, come up with better solutions to, to help all that are the, all that's involved so um, you know at the time it was tough but it, it served me well throughout my life to make better decisions and to show empathy and understand how law enforcement plays a valuable role in the development of individuals lives oh that was easy thank you <laughs>